Hey man, some people just like to glitch. Welcome to Glitch City! Hey everybody, today I wanted to cover uh, another Pokemon glitch. This one is known as the Doko Kashira glitch, which literally translates to like, where is it or where does it go? And um, it, it's a glitch that utilizes uh, a, a pretty cool bug found in Pokemon Green, which is the Japanese version. This isn't going to work in blue or red, especially not like US versions. It was patched. But you walk a certain amount of steps after confusing the game about who your Pokemon is. And when you walk in through a door, it teleports you to the Hall of Fame. So it's pretty cool. It allows you to beat the game in like eight minutes. Um, and, you know... It's just kind of unique, and and it, you can use it to teleport yourself other places in the game. Now, albeit your game gets fucked up, but it's pretty interesting, and it's a good way to waste an afternoon. So guys, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in like uh, one second. Hi everybody, welcome back. I am in Pokemon Green. I just went through the intro, got my start at Pokemon, and I'm on my way to pick up Oak's Parcel in Viridian City. Now, you need Oak's Parcel in order to uh, make this glitch work, and it has to be the second item in your inventory, so go ahead and pick up that potion in your PC at the start of the game, uh, and that way, once you pick up Oak's Parcel, it will be the second item in your uh, item box. Now, the Doko Kashira glitch, it's making use of a, a bug with the select button, and um, you're going to see, we're actually going to switch an item with the position of our Pokemon. Uh, it sounds weird, you don't actually get to see it happen, but the game thinks it happened. So, just walk back down to where Pallet Town is, and stop right before the patch of grass here. Now, open up your menu, and go to your items. The second item, that's Oak's Parcel, hit Select on it, as if you're trying to move it, and then hit B twice. Um, that's going to lo load it into our game, and we're going to switch it with uh, a Pokemon. It's, it's really weird. Just go and end our battle. This is literally the longest it's ever taken me to find a battle. It took me like 30 seconds of just constant running around in the grass. Perfect. We're in a battle. First things first, go into your Pokemon menu and hit A on your only Pokemon right now, which is, you know, your starter. So I go to my Pokemon menu and hit A. Now that essentially switched the item with our Pokemon. That's why I got all messed up. Then go into the fight menu, but don't don't fight. Just hit back, back, and then run. And this way it'll make sure the game still thinks you have a, you know, a Pokemon that's ready to battle. Once that's happened, we're ready to go and do the glitch. So exit the battle. Uh, you don't need to defeat the enemy Pokemon. The game will freeze if the opponent uses Growl, so exit the fight as fast as you can. The glitch is now, you know, exploitable. What you have to do now is travel between 83 and 87 steps, inclusive, um, and then on the 84th to 88th step, go into the rival's house door. So as soon as you get into that battle, count steps, and then on the either the 84th, 85th, 86th, 87th, or 88th step, enter that door which is, you know, that's your rival's house. Once you do that, you're going to be teleported here, which is, I, I believe, Route 7. Uh, and once you're on Route 7, just travel down to the Pokemon Center. Uh, you can also use the Celadon Condominiums, um, but I'm going to use the Pokemon Center. Enter the building, and then exit it, and then keep on going down to the Celadon Department Store. Uh, as soon as you get there, just try not to weave around, guys. Just, just walk in a straight line, okay? I mean it. Uh, it can mess it up if you start weaving. Enter the rightmost door, and it's going to teleport you to uh, just past Lance. Now, do, do not talk to Lance. I tried it. You'll get into a battle with him, and then you won't have any Pokemon to use, and it's, it's a bad day. But if you just go straight, you'll just walk right through Gary. I mean, Blue, whatever. And you'll be in the Hall of Fame, guys. It's super chill, and you just beat the game. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and really, really easy to do. The hardest part is making sure to count those steps after you get into that battle, and make sure that you, you know, you you go to your Pokemon menu, switch it with your first Pokemon, and then you have to make sure you hit the fight menu and then run away and don't let the opponent use Growl. It all all very doable, all very doable. Now, what's really really cool with the Doku Kashira glitch is that it can teleport you to an unused part of the game. And um, this one's a little bit harder than what you just saw, but it's equally worth it. Now I'm gonna just I'm gonna set this up real quick. Give me one second. 
Now, where we're heading now is actually an alternate version of the Route 6 entrance to Underground Path. Uh, it exists in Generation 1 Pokemon games, but it's never used for an unknown reason. Uh, in this location, the, the soundtrack's different. It plays the Vermilion City theme rather than the Pewter City theme. And the palette, the color palette, is different. So we're going to do everything we just did, except for now, if you enter the Pokemon Center, take 152 steps, uh, and then into the Cell Department Store via the rightmost door, in under 4 steps from there. Or if you went to the Condominiums, uh, take on an additional 172 steps. Now if you do that and you enter the right door, you will be teleported here, which is that addition, which is that that, that that extra piece of um, map that isn't used. And it, 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 it's not useful, but it's pretty cool. And you'll get to hear it, and you'll get to be like, yeah, this could have been in the game. Either way, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you guys like these, because uh, I like it when you guys like stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.